Hey team, Rob here, welcome to the video. Today is going to be the start of a new series of videos looking at all the trails here in Victoria Park. So we're up here at the classic car park drop-off area right at the top of the hill dropping into the main trails but you can also get into Vic Park. From the eastern side of the hill come along Bonevale Traverse into Vic Park through here or here we can do a hard right, get straight into the steep stuff. Here, from the 19th Memorial Car Park, and, and through this gate, up to the skid site, up the hill. Or here, at the top of Bowenvale Ave, you can treat yourself to the amazingly steep climb all the way up the valley to the top of the hill. Lots of ways to get into Vic Park, but we're going to start off here at the main shuttle drop-off, going down this way. So Vic Park contains a wide variety of trails, not really any greens, but a lot, some blues, a lot of blacks and double blacks. So we'll be looking at all these trails over the course of a series of videos. So we're going to start with the classic from the car park, into the trees, around a trail called The Worm, out onto Break Free and then into Sesame Street. So all along the way, Worm and Sesame Street have some drops, gap jumps, a few features. So we'll stop, have a look at those. Don't worry, every feature has a ride around, so there's nothing compulsory that you have to do. But they're all nice. This is a good progression trail. So let's uh, get the full face on and head down the trail. Alright, so over in the distance on the other side of the valley is the Christchurch Adventure Park. We have many, many excellent videos in the park. Now what quite a lot of people like to do is get the chairlift up the hill, come down Summit Connection, across Dyer's Pass Road, up Summit Road into Vic, and then from Vic you can do a variety of trails to the main skid, and then back across Dyer's Pass Road into the park. So yeah, this uh, trail we're going to do now may look familiar. This is the trails I rode during my Canevo bike launch video. But we'll just have a wee stop along the way and look at the features. So without further ado, let's head into the trails. So from here there are trails in every direction. Some easy, some hard. To go our way you want to come here to the left. and across this first jump and then from there into this berm and into this right hip so let's stop, go back, have a look at these jumps righto, so this first jump in the line nice takeoff and is a step down which means that the landing is lower than the takeoff and really I don't think you can go too far on this jump, it's got landing for miles. You can also, instead of coming around the corner like we did, if you see straight through there through those trees, you can come in straight through there if you're coming from the Bone Rail Traverse end. Come through, boom, off this lip, and literally land anywhere you want. Nice straight run out into that boom left hander. Right, after you've hit that boom, you got three choices, you can either hit the jump on the left, come straight through here in the middle, which avoids the jump but gets the good line around the trees, otherwise you can go through here to right is right, smooth line around to the left. If you come up here to the left of this tree, do a right hander down, just down there is the Vic Park Seesaw. Now back to the actual hip jump, it's very really hard to see because of all the dappled light today, but just up the lip, we have a right hip turn here, nice big landing area, you can either hip right up to the top, just come down low, heap space, and again probably very hard to go too deep, although it is a bit of a flat landing, but that's alright. So let's carry on out to the cattle stop and on to break free. All through this area 
There's a few features and jumps and that little stone take off here, jump out that way. Just round here to the left. The just up there. The Vic Park Road Gap. See it launching off there, jumping across here into this. So if you've just done the right hip like we have, come down here and all in this area, you line two lines out there to the right, line out here in the middle, there, there. If you come down from the left, everywhere. You gotta watch out for all these roots. And then through the cattle stop and into break free. So break free, you get to this way, or if you've done the cattle stop, you can just wiggle through those berms. So let's head along break free. These break free berms have all been freshly rebuilt in July and August 2024 so they're running really smooth pump the rollers pump the rollers here we are Sesame Street so Sesame Street starts off, used to be a cattle stop, now it's just some stones. Main line out here to the right, high line to the left, and then here we got a little step down. Right, let's get the bike out of the way. Right, Sesame Street rolls in just up there, you got the left line up high with the rocks or the main line to the left right is right and you got that little sort of jump there and the roll around line to the right is right here where we're standing which is right is left you can either go full left pop up into gum trees up there or go into the sesame street berms where you've got this step down so pop off here into there which sets you up nicely for the next one then around to the next gap jump or if you go to riders right around here you can still gap off this roll down this either either which then sets you up for the next drop as well this step down here it's not bad good size Probably about five feet, and then oh, would be a good probably two meters from takeoff to knuckle. Not sure if I've ever jumped there actually. Something to put on the bucket list. Nice roll out straight into the next one. This is really can be rolled. You could pop off it. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And then just out there is a gap jump. Now if you've avoided the rock roll down or the step down, come out around here, another entrance into gum trees there, otherwise you drop into this berm. Watching out for people coming straight down. And around here into this next series of berms, just through there's the wall ride. We'll go back and look at that little gap jump. Nice little gap jump here. Not too big at all. Probably four, maybe five feet from the lip to the landing. And again, you got a nice run in, nice takeoff into a nice run out. Boom, boom. We saw Mel jump those in the Canebro's first ride video, basically without even looking at them. So I think you should be alright. You! After that berm, you've got a high outside line that you want to gap off. Or you can tuck in nice and tight and just roll down here.
into this berm and then we got the Vic Park wall ride just pop up onto the wall round and just pop off the edge now it's up onto the wall ride yeah yeah you don't have to be up there don't worry you can do it quite comfortably just down here off here you've got plenty of speed don't worry about it although if you are worried that's okay just tuck nice and tight here to right as left and around no problems all right bam bam then we got another gap jump now this one is a bit bigger I haven't jumped this either on my new bike day video I gave it a half attempt coming off the lip jumped out to the left because if you start really far to right is right in case right is right death zone don't want that if you've got heaps of speed heaps of pull you'll be fine off there onto there out you go otherwise give it a half jump there pop to right as left out you go we can just avoid it all together up to you like i say there's nothing compulsory here on sesame street right heading down the trail main sesame street here to the right has a drop although it is definitely built up now you can roll this so that's cool otherwise you've got another left exit onto gum trees so yeah caution arrow because if you're going fast you will gap out there but you can just roll this no problems like that you got that wee gap jump there which i almost uh almost died on because you need to be going quite fast jumping out to there I sort of plooped out into the rut, I don't know how I didn't crash. But I'm thankful I didn't. Now I think originally Sesame Street would go up around that berm there, but it looks like everyone's just cutting through here. And from here, you come out at the quad. Uh, I can only assume it's called the quad because it has one, two, three, four jumps, lips. You got the small, medium, large, extra large. I have jumped the small and the medium. I haven't attempted the large and I certainly haven't attempted the extra large yet. I watch people go off them starting just back up there, ploop, jump it like it's nobody's business. But uh, you know how kids like to jump. <laughs> so now you have gone over one of the quad jumps. You're out here at the main Vic skid site. If anyone says we're meeting at the Vic Skid, this is what they mean. From here you can head that way, out to the 19th Memorial, just past that big tree there. There is Fade to Cap, a track to take you down out of Vic Park to Dyes Pass Road, cross over into the Cap. Otherwise, all the Vic Park tracks head back that way. So here we've got a bit of a menu board with a bit of an outline of the trails. Not every trail is on here, but it gives you a bit of an idea where to go. If you want to look at all the trails, head to either Strava, Trail Forks is probably better, or the council website has a trail map on it. So we're going to be covering all the trails here at Vic Park in the future, so stay tuned for those. But for right now, let's head back up the hill, do a full lap of Sesame Street. Right, back at the top of the hill, let's do that full worm break free Sesame Street lap. So I'm going to do all the spicy lines, but remember there are ride rounds for everything, so don't be afraid.
right down the Sesame Street. Ah, break free, sorry. Oh, pull for that, but then you got that berm afterwards. <laughs> Watching out for uphill traffic on the crossing. Let's see. Look at these burns. There you go. Right, into Sesame Street now. Off that we double down there onto the wall ride. Off we go. I'm just going to avoid that for today. <laughs> Drop down there again, avoid that. Out here, off the little lip. There we go. That was a worm break free into Sesame Street. Woo wee, righto. So that has been the first of many trails to look at. So stay tuned, there'll be many, many more videos going all the way around Vic Park from the blues all the way up to the double blacks. So yeah, it's gonna be excellent. So Make sure you never miss out on a video, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you found it interesting. Until next time team, ride on.